very quick review of all five different interface type. So, for sub interface type is like tap mode or tap interface, and uh, tap means not inline deployment. So it is only used to monitor okay. or just uh, generate reports sort of thing, logging purpose, application level visibility, because <clears throat> tap mode means no inline deployment. So cannot control traffic. Another mode is like V-wire mode. So V-wire mode like inline deployment. Or here we have discussed that only a pair of interfaces can be a member of V-wire group. And the third layer two. And difference between V-wire and layer two is like in layer two mode, there can be more than two interfaces, whereas in VWire mode, strictly like only a pair of interfaces in one VWire group, right? And the fourth one we saw was layer 3 mode, which we frequently talk about, that will be layer 3 mode. होगा. And then the final, last one is HA mode, which we use in HA. So we have discussed these five interface types in the previous session. Mein discuss kiya tha. Aaj, iske aage hum log start this session. और एक और चीज कि किसी भी फायरवॉल को लाइव करने के लिए ऑफ कोर्स नेटवर्क कॉन्फिगरेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड अपार्ट फ्रॉम नेटवर्क कॉन्फिगरेशन सिक्योरिटी पॉलिसी एंड नेटवर्क पॉलिसी और नेट पॉलिसी ये दो पॉलिसीज की भी जरूरत है तो हम लोगों ने इंटरफेस टाइप देख लिया था एज फॉर राउटिंग इज कंसर्न सो एट इनिशियली वी नीड टू have a only default route only. So just create a default static route. Say <coughs> back default static route gives you what pointing to uh, next to a router ya jo ISP ya jo amara is device hoga usko point karta hoga. Or iske liye ek yahan pe jo routing table bana hota hai jisko hum log virtual router bolte hain. Ek default virtual router iske andar pehle se hai. Palo Alto. Mein. So what we will do, we will create default static route uh, in the default virtual router. And the uh, layer 3 interfaces, what we will be using for like inside and outside. Right? <coughs> so if we don't want to go for virtualization or device virtualization, so like uh, we don't need to create any other virtual router. So one virtual router is sufficient, the default one. But in case if you want to virtualize your firewall, then definitely another virtual router would be required. But initially, you have a virtual router hai, more than sufficient. So, we will not do so much in routing. And you understand this routing concept. In Palo Alto, when we create the default route, create karte hai, to just ask a name. We have to give a name. And the same like destination address. So, destination will be like 000 slash 0. Exit interface. So, what is, for example, let's say my interface is Ethernet 1 slash 2, and then next hope IP address. So, next parameter is next hope IP address, and <coughs> AD value is like uh, optional. Because AD value, you understand, uh, is taken into account only if there, there is. Uh, more than one route to reach the same destination. Then only this AD value comes into picture uh, for the best selection. So otherwise AD value का कोई role नहीं होता है. तो ये आप default ले सकते हो. जो भी इसका default है, उसके ऊपर चलेगा. Cisco में जैसे आपने देखा होगा कि one होता है default static route का. But different vendors different approach use करते हैं. तो routing की जहाँ तक बात है, हम लोगों से भी default static route की ज़रूरत है. तो routing में अभी फिलहाल कुछ और ज़रूरत नहीं है. जब हम लोग VPN open ki baat karenge, then we will talk more about this routing part. All right. So once uh, interface ho gaya, routing ho gaya, so the most important topic jo aaj hum log discuss karne ja rahe hain, wo hai security policy. Because without creating security policy, firewall will not allow any traffic uh, to pass through. Ek case mein bas allow karega, aur wo tab ki agar intra zone communication hai to. So, today we are going to security policy. Security policy. So, 
there are two types of security policies one which is created by default which is implicit policy so implicit policy means created by default and cannot be deleted इनको हम डिलीट नहीं कर सकते और काफी हद तक इस इम्प्लीसिड पॉलिसी को हम लोग एडिट भी नहीं कर सकते कुछ चीजें एडिटेबल नहीं होता कुछ एडिटेबल होता है बट यस वी मे ओवर राइट डिफॉल्ट पॉलिसी सेटिंग्स वो हम लोग ओवर राइट कर सकते हैं अच्छा इम्प्लीसिड पॉलिसी में दो पॉलिसी क्रिएटेड होता है एक पहले भी हम लोग बात कर चुके हैं वैसे तो और वो ये इंट्राजोन 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 में एवरीथिंग अलाउड सब कुछ अलाउड होता है और दूसरा इंटरजोन इंटरजोन सो हियर इन इंटरजोन डिनाइट सब कुछ डिनाइट होता है बट नो लॉगिंग बट बाय डिफॉल्ट नो लॉगिंग तो तो हम लोग इम्प्लीसिट पॉलिसी में भी जो इंटरजोन पॉलिसी क्रिएटेड है उसमें एटलीस्ट एक चीज हमें करना पड़ेगा और वो ये कि जो लॉगिंग नहीं है वो हमें इनेबल करना पड़ेगा लॉगिंग एंड दैट इज पॉसिबल बिकॉज वी मे ओवर राइट डिफॉल्ट पॉलिसी सेटिंग्स सो वी मे चेंज द बिहेवियर वेदर टू लॉग और नॉट टू लॉग दैट कैन बी चेंज सो इस इम्प्लीसिट पॉलिसी और डिलीट नहीं कर सकते हम लोग कुछ सेटिंग्स को ओवर राइट कर रहे हैं और इसके इसको हमेशा नीचे ही रहता है ये इसके हम लोग सीक्वेंस को भी चेंज नहीं कर सकते हम लोग जो क्रिएट करेंगे उसको हम लोग एक्सप्लेसिट पॉलिसी बोलते हैं एक्सप्लेसिट जो हम लोग क्रिएट करने वाले हैं एक्सप्लेसिट पॉलिसी नो जिस दिस एक्सप्लेसिट पॉलिसी मीन्स क्रिएटेड बाय एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर एंड ऑफकोर्स एक्सप्लेसिट पॉलिसी कैन बी fully customized fully customized okay so <coughs> in palo alto firewall there are two different type of security policies one implicit another explicit policy so let's talk about explicit policy now hello sir uh Yes. There is there is a background noise persistently coming. Uh, could that be minimized if possible? Mm, no, let let me check. Okay. Is it better now? Yes, yes, much better, much better. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. So, explicit policy like uh, created by administrator and. Uh, Uh, fully customized so explicit policy means we can uh, uh, play with the sequence of explicit policy different parameters and all that and uh, this explicit policy has a lot of elements first we you start with giving name like name and then type type is what like interzone policy or interzone policy interzone or intrazone interzone or <coughs> universal And then the third source under source section there there will be uh, two different uh, attributes first like zone source zone and then source address <coughs> then the next one destination again here destination zone and as well as address fifth here there is another option user id but that is optional so user id is not mandatory is optional and required only if we want to create policy on the basis of user account or user id then only is required and <coughs> sixth option 
is like application and then we need to specify service finally what action so there are six different elements here so while creating implicit explicit policy like security policy uh, uh, apart from this user id all other attributes are mandatory attributes so they are not optional so there has to be some source destination application service and action so uh, name you understand you can give any meaningful name is just like a description sort of thing so uh, it's just a name type is again here if uh, we want to specify whether this policy will control intra zone traffic or inter zone traffic we may specify that in case we don't want to uh, customize that like intra zone or inter zone so we may select universal so universal is again uh, one of the type universal means either intra zone or inter zone kuch bhi ho sakta hai and then we go to the source uh, address section under source address zone like that is source zone for example inside zone or outside zone or dmz or any and then address and again here address address could be like either a host address like individual ip maybe a network address or subnet address okay. or maybe a region country so it's all like source or destination address same is to here again so even under destination we may select same option so here if i talk about destination so i may select the same so <coughs> as far as this is concerned we may specify individual ip network subnet or region region like country or uh, maybe uh, uh, like continent sort of thing because uh, here in palo alto firewall we have option to create geolocation policy it's, it's known as basically basically geolocation policy the most confusing part is here six and seven number application or service for example if i say uh, let's say i want to allow http https and dns dns like udp uh, port number 53 for example http means uh, tcp tcp port 80 and https means here tcp 443 so if i want to uh, enable http https udp so one of the way is like just uh, specify these three services under service section and here under application section you may say like any application any and then here let's say allow <coughs> now the important point is, part is here if we uh, say like name type source user destination yahan tak to theek hai application any and service http https and udp port number 53 it means all applications or softwares will be allowed which will be using tcp port 80 443 and 53 and at this point of time uh, palo alto firewall will take decision after looking at layer 4 header only only layer 4 header so you may understand is a kind of legacy firewall then legacy firewall right because we have specified that please allow this this and this it means layer 4 header and is the application yeah maybe uh, layer 7 so palo alto firewall will take decision on the basis of layer 3 parameters and layer 4 parameters no decision will be taken on the basis of application or uh, deep inspection inside this because i have specified application any halaki fir bhi main ek cheez aur add kar dun i must add here palo alto firewall mein <coughs> even though we have configured our security policy to take decision on the basis of layer 3 and layer 4 parameters in spite of doing that in spite of configuring security policy in this way palo alto firewall will look at layer 7 header will try to identify application and logging in logging even we would have uh, that application name in fact if that have been identified the palo alto firewall it means no matter 
whether <coughs> we have configured security policy to take decision on the basis of uh, application that is app id or not is a default behavior of palo alto firewall that it opens layers seven parameters and tries to identify the application on the basis of uh, application signatures layer seven inspection even though hum logo ne security policy mein create kiya ki just take the decision on the basis of http https or udp agar if you find port number 53 443 or 80 then just allow those traffic but palo alto firewall uh, behaves in different way और वो क्या करेगा लेयर सेवन इंस्पेक्शन करेगा जो लॉग जनरेट होगा उस लॉग के अंदर हमें दिखाई भी देगा कि ये एप्लीकेशन गूगल बेस और फेसबुक बेस और एनी अदर स्पेसिफिक एप्लीकेशन देन नो द क्वेश्चन इज कि इज देन एनी वे टू गिव इंस्ट्रक्शन टू पालो ऑल टू फायर वॉल टू नॉट एक्सपेक्ट लेयर सेवन so for that we need to create separate policy which is known as application override policy but if i do not uh, but at this point of time i don't want to talk about that uh, application override policy so you you may understand here like if in explicit policy if we uh, specify service and under application section any application so no matter whether application is google based or facebook based traffic will be allowed just on the basis of layer 4 attributes or layer 4 parameters that is expecting layer 4 header tcp or udp header even though for the purpose of logging or maybe reporting palo alto firewall will perform deep inspection inside application data uh, let let me put this security policy in different way now let's say no and the way of creating policy the same policy here just a minute so under sample policy so copy no this time let's say i said here under service section service under service section application default application default and on the application section if i said web browser maybe ssl and dns so <clears throat> now at this uh, if i have created security boss in this way like service is application default and then application under application section web browser that is http ssl and dns ssl is like your https traffic and dns like udp port number 53 so now now what happens uh, let's say packet arrives here on this interface like interface uh, inside zone interface let's say ethernet 1/1 so now again uh, firewall will look at the layer 3 header first like ip header or was the source ip what is the destination ip address and then layer 4 header layer 4 like either tcp or maybe udp <coughs> in order to identify the uh, like uh, figure out the port number or like so once uh, this layer 3 header is inspected layer 4 header is inspected then firewall will look at layer 7 like this layer 7 header and will identify let's say uh, it's a dns traffic so primarily uh, under this layer 4 parameter port number should be 53 because dns uses port number 53 so first palo alto firewall will look at layer 4 header let's say port number is 53 it means this condition number 7 is fulfilled that application must be running on its standard port right and then it goes to layer 7 and we we'll look at layer 7 header like this one and apply dns signature so if dns signature is identified that the dns signature what uh, palo alto firewall has in its database and signature computed from here from the layer 7 header if both match then palo alto firewall allow the traffic ks is generally dns traffic there is no port hopping there is no protocol hopping it's all good 